want to shoot this really quick. Um, since I've been like scrambling around since I got home. I got home late from my parents' house because my dad stopped for a car wash and gas, which took like another, we had to drop Zoom off, um, which we always do on Sundays because I can't take him over to the house. So we had to do that. Um, and all this stuff. So my lunch was like, and then, and then I was behind on everything else because I had to go and pick up dog poop before I even sat down to do my notes. And I was like, come on. So anyway, this was how Zoom did way better. Zoom did really good. I think my biggest hang up uh, this morning was we were late for church. So we had like a lot of traffic and we had a lot of, um, people um trying to say hi to him and he was not paying attention there was a lot of people and he was trying to greet them and so and i cannot get him to focus um when he is that wound up so i usually what i and what i've been doing when we go to church is i make him sit and then i put on his two foot and walk him through the church lobby on his two foot because I have to give him enough lead um, when uh, we are going through doors so he can get behind me. And he's not good enough right now that I can just turn him loose and walk him on a four foot like I did with my other dogs. Um, just because he's like, he wants to say hi to everybody. That being said, I actually got him Dirk put his regular forefoot on the prong, which I hardly ever do because I usually put the prong on the two foot. And he was turning it beautifully. He was nice and tight. He was paying attention. Well, I can't say he was tight because he was actually going out a little further, but he was tucking in when he needed to when we were in the crowd. And I will have a point where I will be able to walk him through a crowd at a concert now, where he's gonna be pushing people away, but he's not gonna be nosing at them. My main goal, um, and I've said this on the channel before, but it was quite some time ago, I do wanna be able to take my service dog to a concert and be able to get to a concert again. Um, and that's a lot of people doing a backstage VIP run but the service dog is going to be a tall order because there's a lot going on back there. It smells different. There's a lot going on. Um, walking him into a meet and greet is going to be a challenge just because there's a lot of people. It's like new people. He's not going to be able to like greet whoever I'm having to meet for a picture. He's going to have to sit nice, do all that stuff. So, I mean, he was, he did great. He popped up a little bit when Dirk and his family came over. Um, but Dirk and I kind of work together. If he pops up when um, Dirk gets there, um, Dirk tends to settle him down and stuff like that. So, um, but that worked because once he settled down, he had his chin on my foot. And that tells me he was settled down. He was nice and tucked in and he eventually did settle down. Um, and so the cool thing about today was Dirk's like, I, Dirk's like, let's do some training after church. And um, we worked for about I don't know how long, the entire time they were running baptism, because church usually runs about, gets out early on, on the weekends they do baptism, just because they need like 10 to 20 minutes to do baptism. We took that entire time and ran Zoom for doing pickups with distractions. And that was like one of the few times I've actually done that, the last time I did that, I had him like picking up bags outside, picking up stuff outside. I've done that very little. Um, I did pickups in the um, apartment uh, community room. That's it. I have done very few pickups outside of the apartment 
but he did really well. When he is on, he is on. He will pick up. I think his biggest issue was, I mean, obviously he was distracted a little bit because his, but his attention wasn't going clear across the room and he wasn't paying attention to anybody at all. It's just, he was queuing on Dirk and not on me. So you kind of had to remind him, hey, you're supposed to be doing this and giving it back to Tori. But I'm so used to him um, diverting to somebody else and everybody else is used to that. The trainers were used to that. So it was just an issue of redirecting him that he was supposed to cue on me. Um, and he'll get better at that, but he was not paying attention to the people walking by us at all. I, Dirk told me to walk him out a little bit. Um, I, I did a pickup with my pen that I was using because I knew he had picked it up already. And um, I was mostly working with my wallet because it was a little bit bigger. Um, but I did like five pickups and he was doing that. I he had him do a heel no lead and I did what I normally do when I'm telling him to heal and he walked from where we were um away from the tables to back to the table where my dad was sitting he didn't break a heel I mean it was a wide heel but he healed he walked back with me no lead and I know he can walk off lead because Dirk's done it with him but he did great today um it's there's potential there, and uh, but you do have to remember he's only a year and a half, and he'd have another year of training before he was even placed with anybody. So I mean, he's for for being behind and being younger than your average service dog in training. He's doing great. He's we're still tweaking things. Um, he was doing. He did, but. That being said, he like crashed. He was crashing right when we were trying to work. He just, he, he lay down and he was like, I'm done. And then we, um, so he had all sorts of experiences today when we were coming home. He went through the car wash <laughs> with, with, when dad got the car washed this afternoon, which was one of the things that took me longer this afternoon. That was a new experience. If I had tried to do that with my other dog, she would have totally had a meltdown. Um, I mean, he was kind of thrown by the noise for a minute, but once he saw what was going on and what was making the noise, he was fine. He didn't even bark. He just kind of, his head popped up and he was, and he was fine. But I, was, I, I knew he would be as long as I would. I mean, I was playing bingo on my phone. That was all I was doing. And, um, he was fine. Um, and so I was doing that. And uh, so that was fine. Um, I had, um, I, I did what I normally did. And then I, and then in all of this, I forgot to bring my bag back to the house. So I have to wait until my dad can bring it tomorrow so I can do the notes I was supposed to do this afternoon. Um, but yeah, so I'm super happy with how, um, he, he did today, um, very successful training session with him. It wasn't perfect, but it was about as good as I would expect from a dog his age. And he did better than I expected. I now have some hope that he will be able to walk through a very busy crowd without like going to sniff everybody. Um, so at some point I should be able to like take him to somewhere super, super busy and um, super, super busy and we'll be fine and I'll be able to use him as a buffer um, and stuff like that. And while we were at the house, mom ordered him four new toys. This dog needs more toys than any other dog I have ever had. And, um, I just need a lot of um, stuff to keep him busy because he is so smart. And um, so it's like, so we ordered him more toys. We're working on a few more things. Um, this week I am gonna work on what, with do work on his pickups. Um, and I'm like been swamped because I've been trying to do Bible study on top of everything else. 
Um, but I'm super happy with this and I just wanted to give you guys an update and I will try to get this up for you guys at the normal time. So I'll see you guys in the next one.